to Community Hotline. My name is Monica Weitzel, and we're in Gresham at Metro East Community Media. We're going to end tonight's show talking with Muertos PDX, and with me representing Muertos PDX is Armando Gonzalez. Armando M. Gonzalez, if we want to be uh, formal here. That'll, that'll work. It's, it's nice to have you here. Thank you, uh, Monica, for uh, allowing to give me this time to talk about the celebration we have coming up. Yeah, so so this is uh, the Dia de, de los Muertos mm -hmm. uh, celebration. Um, tell me what your organization does and, and, and why well, you're doing it. Uh, we started out uh, with this organization um, seven years ago, and, and it's uh, it's this it, it was a celebration. Um, uh, Dia de los Muertos celebration is an, an indigenous uh, celebration. Uh, and we wanted to, to introduce it to our, actually our family knew about it, but wanted to make sure that our, our youth, our kids didn't forget about it. And seven years ago, we, we started out um, just within the family, and then every year it kind of grew a little more. Friends, uh, a family would bring some friends, and other friends would say, well, can we go to the celebration? And they said, sure, and, and uh, it started getting too big. So uh, a small party all of a sudden party, became... It came up, became <laughs> very big. Uh, and the part of the uh, deal of the Los Muertos celebration, what it is, it's uh, on November 1st. Mm -hmm. um, the spirits come back to earth, and you, you're supposed to have uh, if their favorite food, their music, uh, so that you can guide them to where they can be easier find, to find you, where they're supposed to go to. And uh, and, and with that, we... we, uh, we, we build altars and, and to honor them. And uh, for our Dia de los Muertos celebration, we will have different altars. We've had in the past um, pet altars. We've had children's altars. We've had uh, uh, altars uh, from people that are crossing over the border that, that, that have mm -hmm, passed away. Mm -hmm. uh, then you have your family altar. Uh, this year we'll have an altar from Oaxaca, from the state of Oaxaca. We have a family that comes in and, and uh, they bring their altar from home and they, they recreate it there. So we, we honor those, those people that have passed on, um, uh, your ancestors that have passed on, and it's, it's a way to remember those, uh, those that have passed on, and not in a, um, in a way that you're, you're sad because they're no longer with you. It's but not a morbid No, kind of not a morbid all. at all, nothing to be scared, scared about. It's more of a celebration of life. And so right, there's a right. lot of music and, and children's activities. We'll have uh, sugar skull painting. Um, we'll have face painting. We're going to have a um, an artist from uh, Eugene Samuel Becerra that will, that's going to be doing a clay art workshop, and then wow. you can take home uh, the the clay art that you created, and, and he d he helps you out with that. Uh, we'll be doing that, and then we have um, uh, live music performances from. We're going to kick off the event with Aztec dancers. We'll be doing. A special uh, dance for in, in uh, it's called the Muertos dance, and they'll he'll, they'll be doing some poems. We will have um, uh, gonna be, we're going to be doing a cuentos we call it cuentos storytelling bilingual Ooh, storytelling yeah. on Dia de los Muertos for for uh, for youth, and uh, we this is something that that a lot of kids have enjoyed in the past, and we're going to continue doing that. Storytelling is a big deal now. Yeah. Everybody loves a, story, right, a good right, story. Right. So this is for Spanish speakers or English speakers, it doesn't matter, Absolutely. or anybody else. Uh, that anybody else. And what's been nice about the, uh, the event, now that uh, the last three years we've been holding it, this at Audio Cinema. Uh, it's under the Hawthorne Bridge, but it, it's inside a venue. It, it's inside. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's been nice that we have, uh, coming in through the doors, we have youth, young kids, or older kids, or older kids, or older people. <laughs> uh, it's a mixed generation. Right, and, and, right. And, and we have Spanish-speaking people, non-Spanish-speaking people. Uh, it's people that, that will bring a, a picture of their loved ones and, and put it on their altar. And again, it, it's to remember and honor um, uh, your dear, dear loved ones that have passed on. Right. And, and it's a good uh, a festivity. Good it's yeah. a fun, it's a fun event. Uh, and we try to, we, well, we keep it as a fun event. Uh, that's great because it's, I think celebrating someone's life is, mm -hmm. is the best thing and you don't want to forget people. But I, I've Absolutely. done that before where Correct. I've taken a loved one's um, picture to an altar. Nice. Um, on Alberta Street there was a parade yeah. and I participated yeah, yeah, yeah. in that. And it was the first time I really had very much exposure to it, but I was really fascinated mm -hmm. by, by the whole tradition. And this, is this, you know, is this from Mexico, this tradition, or is it from other Latin American countries? You know, it's, it's, uh, it, it, across Latin America, uh, okay. Central America, up, up South America, it's something that's celebrated all, all across the Americas. And it's something that, that we haven't kind of lost touch here. And, mm -hmm. and uh, so one of the things that we decided to do uh, seven years ago is 
you know, let's start with our family mm -hmm. and, and, and show them what this is like. Um, it, usually in, in Latin American, Central American countries, you go to the cemetery mm -hmm. and you do something there w with, with your loved ones. Well, here, if you go to the cemetery, it's freezing and, and, oh. and, and it's cold and wet. <laughs> I didn't and you think know, about that. Do that. And, and so we decided, you know what, we can still do this, but we'll do it inside and, and be warm and cozy and, and enjoy, uh, enjoy the festivities that way. So it's it's, oh, it's I, I, I wondered why. <laughs> I didn't even think about yeah. that, but yeah, it would be cold. It, it's a day where you're supposed year. to go down to the cemetery and clean, clean it up yeah. and provide some flowers and food. I and mean, some food that they, your loved one liked. Correct. Or, and, uh, correct. And marigolds. Mm -hmm. Marigolds? Marigolds, correct. We'll, we'll have a lot of marigolds. We also uh, uh, provide, we will provide uh, uh, hot chocolate and mm -hmm. it'll be free for the public that comes in. And it's part of uh, us giving back to the, to the community. Just a little while ago you had uh, giving, what's a giving, organ giving? Or organs give. Organs give. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's a way to how do we give back. So in, and part of the tradition is to give out hot chocolate and then we also give out this pastry is called pan de muerto. It's um, pan, bread. pan de muerto yeah. bread, uh, bread from the dead, but okay. it's it's a pastry, and uh, we'll be giving that out as a, as a free, and, and we and people will be walking around with big uh, uh, platters of okay. uh, bread, and it's a sweet bread, and, and along good. with the hot chocolate, sounds good to me. It'll be, it's, it'll, it's a good event, and then and then we'll have. Uh, uh, vent food vendors there. We have a couple of food vendors there with uh, traditional cultural food uh, for sale. And then we also have the Muertos Bar. We have a, a bar for um, uh, with your favorite drinks available nice, there. Nice, nice. You have some pictures that you brought. Uh, Absolutely. The, uh, I think they're from previous the events. Previous, uh -huh. So maybe we could take a look at those oh, and you can tell me what yes. we're looking at. So. We, we could do that. So this is the um, audio cinema uh, venue and, and we have, there's an area for to the left, there's a children's area where there's face painting, sculpture, uh, uh, painting for a skull, sugar girls painting, and then also place to dance. If you love to dance, we will have live uh. music, we'll have DJ music, and then people can visit the altars as you go along. So the altars are all kind of spread out uh -huh. around the around, around the venue. Oh, okay. Correct. Okay. This uh. is one of our our fabulous uh, wow. volunteer face painters, and uh, this is very um, popular. Mm -hmm. And so we have huge lines waiting oh. to get face painted. Another one of our face painters just got done. Uh, wow. Just real beautiful. And uh, people are dancing and walking around like this, and they love it. This is what they call the Catrinas. And All we right. will have a Catrina mm -hmm. parade. And uh, this is the, the group uh, Baile Papalot. Papalot means butterfly. And it's a wonderful a children's ballet that will be performing again. And uh, this is one of our Katrina uh, performers that, that wow. does that. It's, a, it's all kids. And this is the, what they call Son Jarocho. The music is from Veracruz, the state of Veracruz. Mm -hmm. And it's a beautiful um, a rendition uh, of uh, a Jarocho music. And it's, they'll be dancing and performing. Uh, it's wonderful. You, you, wow. you will love this. It's a local uh, group. And then, of course, we will have our mariachi. It's uh, Mariachi Sol Azteca. Uh, they'll, be, they'll be performing again. And, uh, this year we didn't have time to, fa to paint their faces, but usually uh, they come in uh, with their face painted. Face and paint. It's a great party. It's a, it's a fun, filled party yeah. and event for everybody. Yeah, a lot of music. <laughs> and then we have uh, out, outside uh, um, Mixteca uh, Tamales. It's a local uh, catering service here that they make tamales, and they're mm. actually perform they're, they're making them outside the venue. And so we decided to take uh, the mariachis out to the to the to the tamale lady. Uh, to serenade. Serenade the tamales. Yeah, we, yeah so she It'll was surprised. It would make the tamales better. <laughs> yeah, make the tamales better. So they, they're, we're making fresh tamales out there. So you have food, you have music, you've and got And here's the, the people yeah. having fun and uh, live music and, uh, and, and they're dancing and uh, these are, we call them the Muertos Friends and it's, it's a wonderful uh, uh, event. It's again celebrating uh, the life uh, of uh, people that passed on and right. and it's not like you said uh, not i like your your choice of word uh, uh, it's not it's not morbid, morbid uh, yeah. it's yeah. it's something more of a you're remembering uh, your loved ones and you're celebrating their life and I, I like i like that attitude i think that's yeah. much better i mean yes we we grieve and we miss the people that are gone but absolutely. but it's so much better to remember what they brought yeah, to our lives absolutely yeah. and the other thing monica what they were doing we we've been doing this for Gosh, a couple of years now, we do a canned food drive, and so we encourage everybody to, that's coming down to bring a couple of canned food. It's it's to help the uh, snow cap community charities. Right. Uh, anybody out here knows snow caps yes. they snow have caps a great local reputation. Oh, a wonderful organization, and we've been supportive uh, uh, of their efforts for a number of years now. And 
It, it's been wonderful. It's a great uh, event, and people come and they bring canned food. Uh, it's a five dollar donation, and, and we, we encourage you to give. But if you can't give and you want to come, don't let the five dollars keep you at home. Come in, and, and you can stay as long as you want. You can stay for a half hour or whatever. Very generous. You Just come yeah. and have a good time. Honor Absolutely. your ancestors. Yes. And bring, bring a picture, bring something or an item that, that, you're, uh, that was part of your ancestors and, and share that with us. Something that, me, that means them to you. Mm -hmm. you know, Absolutely. Something that reminds you of them. Mm -hmm. That's good. So this is, um, the date for the event is November 1st, November which, 1st. Is a, which is a Sunday. It's a, this coming Sunday and we, the doors open at 1 o'clock and uh, the festivities go, all, go on all night until, well, 12 midnight. Yeah, 12 midnight. That's, that's a it's long, time to go long, home. Yeah. It's a long, before you it's turn a long into day. a pumpkin. <laughs> yeah, before, yeah, absolutely. Um, mm -hmm. and, and, and throughout the uh, Metro East will be there. And, and um, my understanding is you'll be doing, I have a little booth where people can do a shout out. Right, and, they uh, can do a shout so out. So I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah. That's going to be something new. Good, uh, good. Really I think it'll cool. be fun. We'll do a shout out so that people can, well, some that we can put on our channels. Mm -hmm. um, but then also I think there'll be an opportunity for people to, to do a message that they can send home to their, to their families cool. if they're from, you know, another country. Right, and, right, right. Um, Which yeah. I love, I love that concept. Yeah. So, so I'm looking forward to that. Yeah. And that's, you know, that's a chance for us to be there as part of it too, because mm -hmm, we're mm -hmm. excited to be part of uh, Muertos BDX. Mm -hmm. What, um, so uh, your organization is pretty much all about this event, mm -hmm. right? And Absolutely. That's, so what do you do all year long? Does it take all year probably to plan uh, this event? It, it? It's, I, I do other events. This is one, one of the events, Mandos Mundo. It's, an, it's a family organization. My, my daughter Mandos is Mundo part- Mundo Entertainment. Entertainment, Mandos okay. Mundo Entertainment. It's part of the, the uh, family thing that we've done. Um, my whole family is involved with this. My daughter, my wife, my two sons, and, and we do this. And, oh, um, it, it's a, and that, this is what we do. I. I was a counselor for many years at a mm. high school, actually a local high school, a Gresham oh, High School. Oh, oh, yeah, and that was, I, that's I very local. Yeah, yeah very local. And, and uh, in June, I decided it was time to move on and do something different. And uh, so I, I do, uh, delved into this. So this is what I do now. And um, I so you've been involved in this, uh, Cinco de Mayo. You were involved in I do, the I do the Cinco de Mayo festival at the Waterfront Park. I also do another festival out uh, in Woodburn. It's called the Fiesta, Fiesta Mexicana in Woodburn. Mm -hmm. I'm also part of the Oregon State Fair. Um, and we picked up a contract there. It's, it's a wonderful thing that we do part of the State Fair thing. And then we do El Grito Festival, Mexican Independence Day. Um, this year we had it at the Moda Center. Uh, it's a, most of the events that I do are free events so the mm -hmm. public uh, can come in and, and not w For me, it's always been that if I want to go somewhere and I don't have the money, I can still go. And, and so we, we've been working hard to keep the events free to the public so that they don't have to uh, uh, pay to get in. The only events that they have to pay would be the Oregon State Fair and the uh, Cinco de Mayo Fest and the Woodman Festival. But those I don't have control of. Yeah. The ones I do have control, which are, uh, are these other ones, um, I we, we work hard not not to make it difficult for people to attend with families. So is this with sponsorships and, and, and sponsorships, businesses that correct, help? Correct, correct. Yeah, okay. and, and, and businesses like Metro East right. that helps uh, promote this that right. helps a lot. Good, good. Yeah, absolutely. Do you have a need for volunteers? At oh, this? always, okay. always, and, and, and that what that's what makes it affordable. That's what makes it. Uh, our volunteers that we use are just wonderful. Uh, they're there early in the morning, late at night. Um, and yes, we do. And, and if you want to participate with Dia de los Muertos, we're always looking for volunteers. Okay, okay. Uh, absolutely. So uh, come check it out. If you mm -hmm. like it, you may want to volunteer next year. You well, they can volunteer now. Right they can find us on Facebook, um, uh, Muertos PDX. Uh, if you go into Muertos PDX and say, hey, I want to volunteer. Um, we will find something in. for you to do. Yeah, oh, <laughs> absolutely. And, and there's all, all, always a lot of things to do at, at uh, any, uh, any other events that I work at. And you can pretty um, much count on them being fun. Yeah. It sounds like to me. It's I mean. a lot. Of, yeah, I. It's, it's <laughs> something. My new passion, and I love music. I love entertainment, and I love to bring be able to bring this to to the public and um, and to do a quality event. Yeah. And uh, I, um, I think the Mortals PDX is going to be great. Uh, Mortal Celebration is going to be wonderful. Yeah, good, we invite everybody to come out. Good. It sounds like it sounds like a lot of fun, and I love it that it's a family business mm -hmm. too. I it think is. That's great. It is absolutely. So. Well, thank you so much for coming on to share it with us. Um, I hope that you get a huge turnout. I think you will. I think it's going to be a lot of a lot of fun, and, and it's um, a way to connect with one's ancestors and to mm -hmm. honor them. And don't forget the canned food for yes. Snow Cap Community Yes, and it's charities. a family event. Come, uh, come bring on, the come kids, on. Bring, bring the kids, bring the grandparents, yes, bring yes, everybody. Yes, absolutely. Okay. So we'll see you there. Sounds good. Okay. Thanks for watching this uh, this episode of Community Hotline. I hope you've learned something new and have some 
new ways that you can become involved in your community with uh, Muertos PDX. You can go to this event, you check it out, volunteer. They'd love to have you be part of the community. I'm Monica Weitzel. Thanks for watching. We'll see you here next week. What local community media is to us is literally our lifeline to what's going on in the lives around us. The absolute most important thing that happens in your neighborhood. People's local communities are usually what's most important to them. Because we're the faces, the smiles, the peoples, and the personalities of the community. To not only give people a voice, but to have their voice heard.